That's staying on the wall. Right? Everything's underwater. Floor to ceiling, and we'll scrap a railing on the stairs. Not needed. Massive downpour. Look at you. Oh, that's a lot of water. Look at the clouds out here today. Wow. Everything's underwater. Massive downpour. It didn't last long, but a lot of rain in a short period of time. Tornado warning, water spout warnings. Do you see anything out there? Let's go check it out. Looks like Michigan's pretty getting hit pretty hard out there. Oh guys, welcome back to Lake Erie's North Shore, we just got hammered with another storm. It's Wednesday. I'm afraid to go check on the other abandoned cabin build job site. Garage cabin, abandoned cabin, garage to house conversion. I don't know what to call it anymore. I just keep changing the name of it. <laughs> We're gonna go check on the water over there and see what kind of interior work was finished today. But seriously, look at that. Lake's flat now, it wasn't an hour ago. It was All right, I'm gonna grab Steph and uh, catch you all over at the garage house abandoned cabin build site. Let's go. It's on now. Do we need some sort of like, what do you call it? That it keeps the water out, cause look at that. This is gonna be all poured when the plumbing's done. So you don't need to pump? This is all going to be cement when the plumbing's done. Oh, I didn't even, of course there's insulation too. Yeah. Insulation, vapor barrier, and drywall, oh, everyone. Anywhere behind the drywall. And there's a, the freight reframe. Roof. Roof. Yeah. The exterior wall here, that's, that's pressure treated too. Some of that's recycled, so that's awesome. Let me grab the camera. Hello YouTube, welcome back to an incredibly exciting episode of Camp Aspinall. We are over at the cabin build site today where lots of progress has happened. Can you hear me back here with my microphone? Yes, we can. New technology. What day is it? 27? Nope, 20. day 28. Well, for starters, friends, we have a bathroom. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Reclaimed yeah. interior. Tw 12 foot ceiling interior bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get you with the light at the back. How does it feel in there? Look at you. For perspective, you're not even I like know. What do twice you do? the. What do you do with all this space in the bathroom? <laughs> you hang two canoes up there and put in a Murphy bed. Right? So the bed's uh, bed. The bathroom's framed. Friends, what do you think of that? Now you don't have to imagine me holding out two arms. No. And then stackable washer dryer will go beside that. Right here. And then in this front kitchen. section, the kitchenette's going to be along this wall here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a closet space pantry uh, here. We nixed that idea. We nixed that idea. This used to be the original garage door. Now that we went with the patio door, we've be gained some space. Because, What's the new idea? Uh, well, this side is going to be closet, so you'll have storage to here. And then he's going to make a full-size closet go all the way up here. Floor to ceiling, and we'll scrap a railing on the stairs. Not needed. Floor to ceiling storage right here into the landing. Yeah. Boom. So there'll be Boom. a big closet here and then another closet here. Yeah. So that's more than enough closet space, I think. 
Good point. That'll keep this all nice and open, all too. All nice and open over there. We still have the attic space in the knee walls, too, which is storage yeah. upstairs. If you check out the back wall, the landing has been installed, and the second stringer is up. All the insulation, vapor barrier, and drywall is finito behind where the stairs are going to go. So this all went up first to get the stairs done. And look! The truss system has been re-engineered for the stairs. We'll be able to do an upstairs loft video very, very soon. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe. Can they get the stairs done? Well, it's been raining today and we do have to put a catch basin out back as per local municipality, but check out some of this flooding. This is actually just standing on the new foundation pour, so it looks like we have a moat. It just, it has nowhere to go. We've hey, got to babe. do some water maintenance back here. We just need some alligators. We just need some alligators? For our moat. To keep people <laughs> <out>. <laughs> yeah, they can live, live in the front and back. Yeah. This is where the addition of the cabin was put on. No. Like. That's awesome. Well, if you're new around here, this is a former garage Abandoned cabin, 20 by 20 building that was sitting empty for years. We took possession last year. We decided to turn it into a livable cabin located on Lake Erie's North Shore in Southern Ontario, Canada. We cut the roof off, poured a four foot foundation all the way around, underpinned it to the existing slab. There's now a 300 square foot primary loft upstairs that we can't show you until we get these stairs finished. We also went four feet out the back bringing this place close to 800, 900 square feet. Was off grid, now we've got the panel installed, some breakers, and one working plug. Check this out, we found the original doorbell, garage door opener thing right here, look at that, from 1972. That's staying on the wall, right? I really wanna go upstairs. All right, well. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> Can you walk up? No. This is probably loose because it came down so the drywall could go up and behind. Yeah, it's And now work. that that's been all re-engineered, because oh, I mean, this all the ceiling was done. I swear the OSB went right to the end. These joist hangers are new. Those are two yeah. by tens. Those went in today. Yeah. So this second stringer is going to go here and it's gonna match up to this beam. See how there's two trusses here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. And it's gonna probably put something in to support it. Yep, right this way. Yeah. It's gonna be all storage. <laughs> yeah, all the way to here. Like this will be cut off, I think. Yep. Oh, it's way wider than ours. This Down part. here, this part? Yeah. Yes, it is. Ours is not that wide. Ours no. is this wide. Yeah. So it's a wide. 36, that one's four feet. Wide landing. <laughs> Maybe it had to be because there's so many. If anybody knows about stairs and building codes, leave us a comment down below. This landing is a lot wider than its depth, which is different than what we have at home. Super wide, not as deep. And all this will be storage. Well, next on the agenda, we have to get things vented out the roof above both bathrooms. There's a bathroom located here, the one we've been talking about, and there's going to be a shower and toilet just above it, you know, just adjacent and above it where these ceiling joists run the opposite way. So we have to get two vents cut into the roof. We also have to get the plumbing Underneath the stairs, if you're wondering why this is here, this is an addition. The original exterior wall came to here. We bumped it out four feet. Services have to run to the street, from the street, outside this wall, adjacent to it. They're going to come in underneath this. This is just temporary right now for safety. When the plumbing comes in here, then we're going to pour the cement back and this is all going to be one solid pour. So we're waiting on a plumber to do that. We're waiting on the town to do connections, 
Actually, we're waiting on the homeowners. That's Steph and Brian because we keep calling and leaving messages and we can't get a hold of anybody to get the connections installed from the town of Essex located at the street. Exciting to have a wall. I'm really excited that there's interior walls frame. The I've electrical never... is going to be done. And we got to tell people on this video because we're all over the place. This had to get done first because all the electrical from the new panel has to get run. And there's going to be hydro on the new interior walls of this bathroom. And we've never like dealt with cathedral high ceilings in <laughs> before. So like this design, I, I, like so, knowing where to so put tall. things and what to pick. You I put a never... massive ceiling fan in here, medicine cabinet that's like eight feet tall. It's a huge like, bathroom in terms of height, huge. especially for the cottages we're used to around here. <laughs> They're short ceilings, right? Yeah. This patio door is a standard six foot. Look, there's got to be, geez, four or five feet above it right there. So check out the original beam header of the original structure here. Look at this. That stayed, how cool is that? And all the way across the top at the front of this building. But uh, this wall was all rotten, so it was replaced. This is an original wall. The back wall is also new, but a lot of this material was reclaimed here. And now we've got a pressure treated interior two by six wall because it sits on cement. Should we leave? Leave it exposed because like it looks really flipping cool. Like and just yeah. reface it. Yeah. Get rid of the paint. What do you think? I think it's cool. What do you think, people? Yeah. <laughs> leave it exposed, but then do you have to leave one exposed? A faux beam at the top, too? Or just this? I would just leave this because it doesn't would you, lend to leaving anything else. But would you extend that, it to the ceiling, though, or would you just leave it there? And that just have that beam sticking out of a wall? I would just leave it because it's the original. Why would we fake more of it? I suppose that's true. Just butt the drywall up to it and then across <laughs> the top and give this a nice finish. Yeah, I don't know. Put some hooks on it. Hooks on it. Coat rack. Yeah. Built-in coat rack from the original <laughs> post. That's a really neat idea located at the lake, huh? Th thoughts? I like that well, one. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll try and tease the loft. There it is. There it is. It's like 12 feet wide by 23 feet deep. It's a massive space. It's going to have an ensuite bathroom sticking out of that dormer. This dormer that sticks out here is going to have the full ceiling facing beautiful lake area, which is located in that direction there. I can't wait to get up the stairs. We haven't been up there since we flew the drone about a month ago. Yeah, there was no roof last time we were up there. There was no roof, no shingles. There were no windows and doors. No. Nothing. Nothing. And now? Go check out that video. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for the moat. Look out for the moats. So there's cement underneath this. If you're wondering why that's full of water, see right here. We had to underpin a foundation, so there's nowhere for this water to go right now. It has to sit. <laughs> Scarier than it looks. The structure's not going to float away. It's standing water on top of cement. Like, while the machine's here. Yeah, we got to get that machine to dug a basin, a drain out back. We have to dig one. And maybe the some, town's requested it. Some big old town to that. And maybe some tiling that can run out the front. There's a drain here. There's a sewer right here. So, we do have to do some water management to close out all the permits on this building. Well, friends, we are back home at the lake, and it's dinner time. Leftovers today. We did all kinds of delicious, fun, smoky meat for the Canadian Civic Holiday Long Weekend. Also, my 43rd birthday. Birthday. <laughs> I'm getting wet. Better be coming off the trees. <laughs> the wind's up all of a sudden. I'm just trying to do an outro. Anyway, if you missed our videos from the weekend, please go check them out. A couple of hiking videos. Try to find that balance between home renovations and outdoor ed and campfires and also spend 
my summer learning with all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on day 28. We got to get through 29 to get to 30, so you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's video. Having a clue what it looks like, but uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace and love from Canada's most southern mainland shoreline. Give somebody close to you a hug, tell them they matter. Don't forget, you matter. Catch you on the next one, which will be tomorrow. Tell your friends.